In this video we will talk about Fluorescent in situ hybridization or FISH So, fluorescent in situ hybridization or FISH enables the specific localization of genes and the direct visualization of abnormalities at the molecular level with chromosome specific probes it allows rapid diagnosis or exclusion of a diagnosis of trisomy in amniotic fluid cells. Amofluorescent in situ hybridization or FISH is that to detect chromosomal abnormalities. Now let's discuss the steps of FISH or fluorescent in situ hybridization. So the first step is the fixation of cell through formaldehyde. That causes crosslinks. Then probes are added. But how these probes are prepared? Well, the sequence of these probes should be complementary to chromosomal region of interest. Now using DNAs, we can make random cuts on DNA. These cuts are also called mix. Now, special nucleotides with fluorescent proteins are provided. NAM ligase seals these NICs. Then, these probes are denatured. Now, probes have been prepared. Let's perform our fluorescent in situ hybridization. This is normal DNA. This is mutated DNA. Normal DNA is denatured. Denaturation can be done by heating the cell. Mutated DNA is also denatured. Denaturation can be done by heating the cell, then cooling down. That allows the hybridization. Means this process allows the probe to attaches the gene of interest. If the probes are not attached, the probes are then washed away. That means there is no hybridization. That will lead to detection of mutation. For example, deletion. The results can be analyzed through the fluorescence microscope. Now let's discuss use of unique sequence probes, which includes micro deletions translocations, sex chromosome rearrangements. Let's discuss them one by one. First is micro deletions. So submicroscopic deletions can be detected with fluorescent probes directed against one or more unique sequences within the interval suspected to be deleted. Micro deletion probes are used in diagnosis of de George syndrome at 22Q11 means chromosome 22, arm Q and band 11. De George syndrome is a condition present from birth that can cause a range of lifelong problems including heart defects and learning difficulties and Wolfershorn at 4p16.3 means chromosome 4 in short arm p at band 16.3 Wolfershorn syndrome is a genetic condition that affects several parts of your child's body including their face heart brain and height you can memorize the symptoms of de George syndrome using a mnemonic. Catch 22. Cardiac abnormalities, abnormal facies, thymic aplasia, left palate, hypocalcemia, and 22Q11 deletion. Next is the translocations. Fish probes directed at the breakpoint cluster region and Abelson sequences can be used to reveal the Philadelphia chromosome 
as two fluorescent signals on the derivative chromosome 22, an abnormal chromosome called the Philadelphia chromosome is associated with chronic myelogenous leukemia. Let's understand this translocation first. In normal cells, the signals are on separate chromosomes. Normal chromosome 9 has abelson sequences and normal chromosome 22 has breakpoint cluster region. Then breakage of normal chromosome 9 and normal chromosome 22 occurs. Then changed chromosome 9 is produced and changed chromosome 22 or Philadelphia chromosome is produced having breakpoint cluster region and fusion abelson sequences. So, this is how fish probes directed at the breakpoint cluster region and abelson sequences can be used to reveal the Philadelphia chromosome as two fluorescent signals on the derivative chromosome 22, an abnormal chromosome called the Philadelphia chromosome. It is associated with chronic myelogenous leukemia. Now, let's discuss sex chromosome rearrangements in some phenotypic males, lacking a Y chromosome, male determining SRY locus, has been translocated from its normal site, often to the X chromosome. So, SRY probe reveals the site to which the male determining SRY locus has been translocated from its normal site often to the X chromosome. So, this was all about fluorescent in situ hybridization. In our next video, we will talk about comparative genome hybridization. Have you ever heard of video books? Scotia.com is delighted to present video books, medical books that have been tailored into a series of videos. Scotia.com videos are presented in the same order as the book's chapters. Explore now and make your learning easy.